Hello, welcome to One Minute Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and it's Friday. Let's have a story. The book of Daniel is about a man who was taken captive during war. He was taken to the king's college, so to speak, to learn literature and language and be someone the king could show off. Throughout the book, we see this strong character of this man, and we start to see a little bit of our God's character. It's pretty cool. In chapter two, King Nebuchadnezzar has a nightmare. Freaks him out. And he tells his sorcerers and fortune tellers, if you can't tell me not only the dream, what the dream meant, but the dream itself, then you'll be torn limb from limb. <laughs> a little extreme. Well, Daniel hears about this and he puts his self out there and he says, you know what? My God can give us the answer. And then he goes home and he tells his friends, pray, pray. And that night, the mystery was revealed to him. And he woke up praising God. In chapter 2, he says, praise be the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons. He sets up kings and deposes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells within him. And you know, in this prayer, I see not only the relief that, hey guys, we don't have to be torn limb from limb, but I see an understanding. God sees what's in the darkness. Even these captives who have to look out their window toward their home, but never see their home. God sets up and deposes kings. He has more power than this man who can threaten lives. We can trust him just as much as Daniel did. God bless you this weekend. Bye-bye.